Okay, here we go. Okay, I'm a pilgrim. I've just taken, I've just taken a plane to Bayonne, France. And then I got to the train station. I'm on the train. I'm going to Saint Jean. I'm very excited because I'm going to the Quino. I get to Saint Jean, and it's so charming. It's this hill, and there's these little stores, and I can almost imagine that I'm a pilgrim from a thousand years ago, and they're selling the bones of saints instead of, you know, ice cream, which they're selling now, and little souvenirs. And I find my albergue, and I get my pilgrim's passport, and I find my little bunk, and I go to sleep. And I wake up in the morning, and I'm a pilgrim now, and I start walking. And oh my fucking God, I am walking up and up and up, and I have never walked this high in my life. And I go up, and I am so tired, and up and up, and I pass Onto, and I pass Horizon, and there's those beautiful Frenchmen there that say, you could stay at my albergue, but I keep walking up and up and up. And up, and I'm so tired, and there's all those other pilgrims, and I'm walking, and I'm walking, and there's that little shrine, and there's Mary, and it's, I'm at the top of the pyramid, the top of the pyramids, the Pyrenees, and it's quite magical. I'm so tired, and I keep walking, walking, and up, and up, and up, and up, and I think I'm at the top, and then I keep walking up, and up, and up, and up, and finally, I start walking down a little bit and oh my knees and I'm walking down and I see this castle it looks like a castle and it's one of these valles and finally it's like six seven eight hours and I make it into Ronces Valles oh my god and I find the albergue and I walk in and it's like being in this amazing like seminary or monastery or castle and it's this huge room and all these bunk beds and all these pilgrims and we're excited and I wash my clothes and I hang them up to try and I find my bunk bed and I go to sleep. I wake up in the morning and it's so beautiful and I'm just in Navarra and I'm in the Pyrenees and I'm just walking and walking and it's 17 kilometers and I make it to La Rasonia. And I find my albergue, and I have a little cafe con leche. Ah, oh, it feels really good. And then I wake up in the morning, and I walk again. I walk to Pamplona, and I go through this odd little town. It's a little, it's a little strange. I'm just like walking through a town now that's not very pretty, but it's okay. I'm walking and walking. I make it to Pamplona, and I like walk through the city gates, and it's the old town, and it's so amazing, and it's beautiful, and. I can't really find the albergue, but then I do, and I find the albergue. Getting my Camino on. We're walking up to the Alto de Perdón. It's a high point on the Camino after Pamplona, and I suddenly just got lots of energy and started running up the hill. <laughs> Buen Camino. Hello pilgrims, my name is Sandra um, uh, I, I hope uh, you come to my store in Estella, Salir del Paso. <laughs> nice, this is the best store on the Camino. Thank you. Do you want us to keep, keep, up, keep our chat? Or? Say something to the camera. Oh, okay. En español, en inglés, cualquier cosa. Adelante. ¿Cómo le gusta el sí. camino? Wow. <laughs> Muchas experiencias, muchos conocimientos, mm -hmm. mucho aprendizaje. Eh, creo que en el camino, ayer me decían, uno saca lo mejor y lo peor de cada uno. Sigue. <laughs> A mí me ha encantado el camino. Me parece que le llenó el corazón de alegría. Mm. La gente es súper amorosa. Para mí es como un pedacito del mundo que funciona como uno quisiera que el mundo funcionara. Todo fluye, se vive con cosas básicas, pero es como seguro, 
eh, la gente solidaria, amorosa. Para mí es como el mundo perfecto este pedacito de, de camino. Así quisiera que fuera el mundo, me encanta. Para mí también. Uh -huh. Divino, me ha parecido. Sí, y yo creo que el camino eh, hasta el momento ha sido único, eh, una experiencia maravillosa, uh -huh. aprendizajes por todos lados, eh, oportunidades para conocer gente, para compartir, para estar solo y reflexionar, uh -huh. para compartir en pareja, que eh, uno uh -huh. tiene oportunidades eh, de todo tipo. Uh -huh. A mí también me ha gustado mucho, eh, fuera de todo lo que dijeron, que uh -huh. es cierto, que todos lo vivimos, me parece también que permite a uno encontrar sus límites mm. y de repente reconocer cosas o, o valores o, no sé, sentimientos que uno tenía guardados y que a través de las experiencias de otra gente o de situaciones uno puede actuar diferente, ¿no? Volviendo al tema de, la, de poder ayudar y de poder brindar y de poder ser generoso con el otro. Mm -hmm. Qué bien. Y buen camino. Buen Gracias, camino. Buen camino. <risa>
So how have you walked the Camino? Any place in the yes, world? Yes, we did painting with my wife and her we, son. We own a, um, her uh, son. art collection in, in, in Venezuela. That time was a girlfriend. So uh, we, we found we out we found for holiday, that this albergue uh, was the only dedicated to painting in the Camino. Wow. And the, and the owner holiday, was looking for December, someone December who likes art wow. who wow. will continue and with their art. <laughs> which was two weeks. So it was like... And one oh, week for traveling, so we, and mm -hmm. my wife found a ticket because mm -hmm. it was already so difficult to find a ticket to come Leon. here from uh, Venezuela. We stayed the first person. night in Leon, and the second night you came know, we followed to, talk the, to the owner, the guide, the some money step like a uh, okay. Leon. We went to the town before. In six and when months, months, we arrived to this town. And sign yeah, will give you the rest of it. We, we like it a lot. <coughs> so that was the deal. Oh, very nice we have to sell everything we have in our country uh, in the a worst economy in the world with the highest inflation and, and, and a a a chaos. One everything day, in my country is like this. Back to enjoy so this town. It was nice. September 2014, we November, we December, December, January. No, we, we continue to see the house or anything. But in the we have to come here with one camera. We have to come here and, and, and take all the street. Street. Oh, this is my wife, her son. We are going to have the opportunity, but we are going to lose the money many years because we don't know. We are not selling anything. <laughs> okay, we finish the Camino. So three yeah. weeks the year after that, before we, we have came to come back here. again. In one meter time, December, uh, he, he we, has okay, two daughters. We, the Camino, we, we, we were selling two apartments. Our apartment, this way. my mother in our apartment in the next okay, six days. He the has two daughters, he was looking yes. for yeah. two apartments and then in the same building for her daughter. He goes back to Venezuela, he likes the, the apartment. Okay, I, I want it. So he. he, he both the, the two uh, apartments. Three weeks before you had to two, wow. two weeks. Oh my goodness. And also the contract, the, the lawyer talked to him. They also own, and we have an, a spinning gym, indoor bicycle. Mm -hmm. They also have a spinning gym for your wife. She's not working, she's at home. She's, she likes exercise. And she, he only looked the pictures in internet of a, of a spinning gym. Okay, give me a price for all. Wow. That was three weeks before. The, the day after that, we got the money. Three weeks after that, we came here. Um, in that moment, when we sold, one dollar was 180 bolivars. Three weeks after that, one dollar $1 was 250 dollars. Wow. Three months after that, one dollar was 500 bolivars. So if, if we sell a few weeks later, we don't have the money you because everything, everything we, we got there, we oh invested here. Wow. The Camino called you. Yes, yes. And yes. today, one dollar is um, one million oh bolivars. No. And uh, we have to take pictures of the landscape here. And um, we have a little journal that we paint in that we have to draw and um, just do landscapes of the different things. And then for the other class that we're taking with the other professor, because there's two professors with us, um, we're doing more of a performance art um, mm. class where we go into the cathedrals and participate with the Catholic culture and um, uh, participate in the relics and like mass and stuff like that and then we have to write about our experience with the whole thing and at the end because we're here for five weeks um, we do a little evaluation of all our journals and just review everything and talk about our experience and everything and you're with a university in South Carolina North, North Carolina, Carolina UNC, UNC University of North Carolina that is Tar so Hills. cool yay yeah. um, so yeah, and we've been here since we started Wednesday in St. John. St. John. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Vale. Depende del día. Sí, que este sitio está construido todo con péndulo, todo buscando la energía positiva. Wow. Eh, hay muchos detalles. Eh, la habitación de las mujeres pasa un manantial de aguas termales. 
Really? Eh, por la ventana esa entra un rayo de sol. El día más largo ilumina a la Virgen. Ah. ¿Me entiendes? Aquí tenemos habitaciones solo para mujeres, para roncadores, para mayores, para gente joven. Ah, sí, qué sí. Bien. El ave fénix. Ave fénix. <risa> Yo <risa> solo llevo aquí un día trabajando, pero yo ya he venido aquí tres veces, tres uh -huh. años. Y yo hoy estoy aquí de voluntario porque, porque es... estoy muy feliz y muy contento. Uh -huh. Y me gustaría que la gente lo conozca esto. Eh, eh, aquí en el año 2016 había un peregrino que a todos los peregrinos, un hospitalero que a todos los peregrinos los ponía sentados en ese banco, aquí, los sentaba con un cubo con agua caliente, agua y sal, para descansar los pies. Este banco se ha sentado mucha gente y yo estoy contento de venir aquí. Qué bien, qué bien. Gracias, muchas gracias. Um, well, I was saying that I was, I've been thinking about like how, it, you know, people go on walks to clear their mind, but like when we're walking, we're not actually like emptying our mind. We're like giving all this new knowledge, and it's like just filling up and filling up, and then going through our body and like, mm -hmm. coming out in sweat. <laughs> but <laughs> yeah, it's not emptying. It's like getting bigger. So, but. so in a way, walking is almost a way to assimilate what you're learning. Mm -hmm. Like you literally walk what you're learning around. Totally. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Mm -hmm. Nice, I like it. Anyone else want to say something to your studio audience? <laughs>